Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint is John Ogilvie, who emerged from his youth as a devout Catholic through bizarre circumstances. Some of his family were Catholic, some were Presbyterian, and his father brought him up as a Calvinist. Maybe because of this range of beliefs, John had a strong interest in the religious debates and controversies of the time. He hungered for truth. At 13 years old, he was sent away for his education, during which time he learned more about Catholicism. The words of the martyrs moved him, and he resolved to become Catholic. At 17, he was accepted into the church at Scots College in Louvain. From there, John traveled all over for his continued education, eventually moving to Paris, where he became a priest in 1610 at 30 years old. Around three years later, he received orders to perform missionary work in Scotland. Now, at the time, being a Catholic in Scotland was a dangerous thing. It was illegal to preach or endorse Catholicism, and had been so for 50 years. There were few Catholics living in Scotland when John arrived, and even fewer allies who could help him if the law turned against him. With great difficulty, since most of the remaining Catholics in Scotland held to their faith very fearfully, John began to preach and practice Mass in private settings. As his reach expanded, he also started to visit Catholics who were in prison, which was even riskier because prisoners were constantly under watch. As John's congregation grew, it became more difficult to maintain secrecy. By 1614, he was betrayed by one of the men he met with and was consequently arrested. He was brought before Archbishop Spottiswood for trial and asked, have you said Mass in the King's dominion? John's reply was tactful, but defiant. If this is a crime, it should be proved, not by my word, but by my witness. Under further inquiry, he refused to answer any questions that would incriminate him or reveal anyone else's involvement. They imprisoned John for eight days. Whenever he tried to sleep, he was prodded with stakes or dragged around his cell by his hair. His jailers only allowed him a night's rest when the doctor said he was at risk of death. After his torture, John was forced into a second trial, where the charges against him were completely different. He was now charged with high treason, and it became increasingly obvious that his accusers wanted to use him to discover which Scots sympathized with Catholic views. Despite his deteriorating condition, he didn't give an inch. Imprisoned again, John was forced to answer a series of questions written by King James himself. These questions involved the connection between church and state and were written in such a way that John had no choice but to give answers which would ultimately sentence him to death unless he renounced his beliefs. With one failed attempt to recant, he was hanged and died a martyr in 1615. John Ogilvie, as a convert, vouches for the validity of the Catholic faith in the most powerful way possible. His martyrdom reminds us that the highest authority is always God, and faith in Him should never be quashed by the laws of man. How are we living out the same faith in our daily lives? How can we live it better? St. John Ogilvie, pray for us.